The Table, starring Robert Benfer, Connor Lloyd Cruz, Jason Steele, Scuffy, and Marcy Hyde. Created by Jason Steele. The wet wheel must turn, though the rough rope we pull may burn. Inside my heart I ache, I yearn, I drain myself for your return. The seven hands shall act as one to quell the dark and find the sun. Will I spin or will I be spun? Command me, and thy will be done. Ugh. What? What? Uh, one second. Christ. One second. Ah, damn it. Ugh. Can I help you? Are you Robert Benfer? That's me. Creator of Clay World off the table. Uh, it's a little early for this. It's uh, two in the afternoon. Is it? Do you want an autograph or something? I'm a lawyer representing the estate of Mr. Neil Fredrickson. Do you mind if I come in? That depends. Am I getting sued? You've been left a legacy. What's a legacy? You're a beneficiary in his will. Oh. Yeah, sure. G come on in. Thank you. Sorry about the mess. I've been meaning to clean stuff up, but uh... You mind if I uh, make some room here? Go right ahead. Who did you say left me money? Mr. Neil Fredrickson. I don't know who that is. He was not a relation. It is my understanding that you two never met. Then why did he put me in his will? Have a seat. I'll explain. All right. Mr. Benfer, are you familiar with the Seven Hands of Christ? I'm not all that familiar with the original two. It was a religious organization operating out of Washington State. They were trying to bring about the second coming of Christ. Oh. Mr. Neil Fredrickson was the founder and de facto leader of the group. He, as well as a number of his followers, lived on a 40-acre compound near the Washington State coast. Was this a, uh, you know. The Seven Hands of Christ was generally considered to be a cult, yes. Did they, uh, did they, did they get waco Thankfully, nothing so extreme. But the organization is now disbanded. So no one died? There were two deaths. The first was Mr. Fredrickson's 26-year-old daughter, Abigail Fredrickson. The second, of course, was Mr. Fredrickson himself. How'd they die? Abigail was killed accidentally during what the group called a glory baptism. Members would be intentionally drowned and then revived so that they might communicate directly with Christ. Did that ever work? Did they ever get in touch with the big guy? I am not privy to any particular religious experiences the members might have had. But in the case of Abigail, she did not revive, and Neil took his own life a few weeks later. Wow. Well, rip to the Fredricksons. Indeed. So why did he leave something to me? It is my understanding that Abigail was a fan of yours. In particular, your Clay World stop motion series. It was a big series. I haven't seen it myself. Millions of views. When Abigail died, Mr. Fredrickson disbanded the Seven Hands of Christ and modified his will, leaving you everything. He gave no formal reasons for the change, but I suspect it was done on his daughter's behalf. Cool. Great. Well, thank you, Abigail. So how much do I get? Nearly all of Mr. Fredrickson's capital went to taxes and death duties. There is almost nothing left of a monetary nature. Oh. Damn. The bulk of what has been left to you is in the form of property. Specifically, the 40-acre compound in Washington State. He left me his cult compound? He did. The property is legally yours. The taxes are even covered for the next 10 years by an otherwise untouchable investment account tied to the property. What kind of place are we talking about? The land is heavily wooded, largely undeveloped. 
The compound itself consists of seven closely clustered buildings, each between 10,000 and 20,000 square feet. There are roughly 70 living quarters, two industrial kitchens, a large chapel, and numerous workshops. Directly outside the compound, there are three vegetable gardens, a barn, a goat pen with seven goats, and a helicopter landing pad. Is there a helicopter? There is. I do not know if it's operational. And I can live there. It's your compound. Can I invite other people? Once again, it's your compound. You can do whatever you want with it. You can live there, you can sell it, you can set it on fire. It's all yours. This is big. All I need from you is your signature accepting the legacy, and the deed to the property will be transferred to you. Yeah, uh, sure, yeah, I'll sign whatever. Thank you, Mr. Benfer. You should receive the deed and some additional paperwork in the mail within 14 days. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact my office. I will. Thank you. I'll see myself out. Have a nice day. You too. Things are finally starting to turn around for old Bobby B. Robert, you son of a gun. Jason, my flight's early. I didn't think you'd be here yet. I thought I'd get here early, record some of this great airport ambience. You got your stuff? Yeah, all my stuff was carry-on. That's not a lot of luggage you brought with you. This is a new start, a new Robert. Sure. My car's parked in the lot right outside, this way. All right. It's just over here. Hey, thanks for coming all the way out here for this, and for checking the place out. You know how much I love compounds. So how does it look? It's got weird vibes for sure, but structurally it all seems fine. At least as far as I can tell, but I'm not an architect. You're the closest thing I can afford. Here's my car. You wanna listen to some tunes? Uh, what do you got? Any genre you can think of. Is it...? Yeah, it's all royalty-free stuff. That's pretty much all I listen to these days. Why? When I listen to music, I always get ideas for videos. And if the song's not royalty-free, I can't use it in the video. So, I only listen to royalty-free stuff now. Well, this is good stuff. Very smooth. Smooth as a wizard's orb. How many of these tracks do you have? Smooth jazz, or in general? Smooth jazz. I don't know, thousands? That's too many. I respectfully disagree. How far away is this place? About two hours. Two hours? Was there not a closer airport? There was not. Is it really that in the middle of nowhere? It's a cult compound. You're gonna love it though. Bad vibes and all. What kind of bad vibes are we talking about? It really does feel exactly like the sort of place a religious leader would drown his daughter at. How much of the religious stuff is still up? All of it, I think. But it's honestly much more occult-looking than, say, Protestant church-looking. How so? Lots of symbols etched over doorways, lots of paintings on every wall of who I assume is Jesus, but his head is a seven-fingered hand. I thought he had seven hands, not seven fingers. Nah, he's got two hands. Well, plus the head hand. I guess in total he's got three hands and 17 fingers between them. I should take the paintings down and put some posters up. I've got some royalty-free photos you can print out and use. I was thinking more along the lines of the poster for Goodfellas. I can get you a few prints of the Great Smoky Mountains. I've also got a nice shot of a pizza shop. You've got a problem, Jason. Hey, have you eaten? I snacked on the plane. Oh, speaking of problems, did you bring the stuff I asked for? Uh, yeah. It's in the back. Mind if I pop one open? Uh, now? What? I'm not driving. Sure. Go right ahead. It's a celebration! Opa! You're moving into a new home. I'm moving in with Jesus. You need a corkscrew? Nah, I got it. Wait, what the hell is this? You asked for red wine. 19 Crimes. 19 Crimes California Red. It's got a picture of Snoop Dogg on it. Yeah, it's uh, Snoop Dogg's wine. What else did you get? It's all Snoop. There were like a dozen bottles back there. There's even more in the trunk. How many bottles did you get? And more at the compound. Why have you done this? Snoop was on sale. 
Wow, is it any good? Not really. That might be why it was on sale. <laughs> eh, I've had worse. I'll let Snoop know. Easy now. <coughs> it's growing on me. Well, here it is. Home sweet home! This is the central building. It's got a chapel inside, which takes up a good third of the interior. Am I gonna meet Jesus and his seven hands? Well, you're gonna meet the big guy, but I suspect the seven hands were people in the cult. Ah. Oh. Uh, here's the keys. There's seven of them. One for each building. You keep them for now. I've got Snoop. All right. Seven keys, seven buildings, lots of sevens. Yeah, there's way more, too. Seven steps up to the door, seven windows on the side of each building. Seven toilets where I can pee out all this wine. <laughs> there are actually seven toilets in each building. That's what I like to hear. Wow. Lots of space, lots of room to work. Now this is a room you could drown a daughter in. Uh, Jesus, Robert. Sorry, it's all this Snoop wine. I shouldn't have gotten so much. It was on sale! I just can't pass up a deal. Look at all that glass. Yeah, the whole back wall is a big stained glass mural. It's hard to tell who's who because of all the hand heads. Where's the, uh... Where's the what? You okay? Did you put this here? All I brought into the compound was food for the fridge and the Snoop wine. You didn't bring this table? Uh, I think that's an altar. It's for communion. No! Alright. This is my table! Yeah, everything here is yours. No, this is my Clay World table! What? Look at it! Is it? I animated on this table for ten years! Ten years! Alright, it's the Clay World table. How did- how did it get here? I don't know. You said the guy's daughter was a big Clay World fan, right? Maybe she went out and bought the same type of table. This isn't the same type. This is the exact same table. My dad gave it to me. Look, it's got the same marks, the same scratches. I'll take your word for it. They've done something to it, but it's the same table. Done what? I don't know. It's, it's like I got smashed up and glued back together. Maybe they dug it out of the dump. Whatever. It's here. You want me to get rid of it? No, it's just a table. I'll keep the Snoop wine on top of it. Not all of it's gonna fit. How many bottles did you get? The wine shop was dying to get rid of this stuff, so I bought up the rest of the shop stock. Which was how many bottles? Not sure exactly. More than 200, less than three. You remember I'm an alcoholic, right? The value is just off the charts. You would have been crazy not to buy hundreds of bottles of Snoop wine. I may have made a mistake here. Probably. But you, uh, you see it, right? You see the value. Hey, how long are you staying? I've actually got to head out in a few hours. Got to get back to work. I'm finishing up the Charlie the Unicorn finale. You should let me do a voice in that. Sure. I could play a sick raccoon. A dying raccoon at the bottom of a well. Make it happen, Jason. Anything for you, Robert. You gonna be okay? You need me to stay longer? Nah, I'll be fine. I've got food. I've got wine. I'm golden! Well, I'm convinced. If you do need anything, don't hesitate to call. Do I even get cell reception out here? No, but there is a landline. Great. Wait, is there internet? Through a, uh, satellite, yeah. How fast is it? You're gonna be cruising at 2003 speeds. Ugh. I shouldn't have moved here. There's no rent. It's too good a deal to pass up. Can't sleep with all this ticking. Is there another clock? There we go. As long as I'm up, I might as well grab a little late night snack.
God, I can barely see. Hello? You know what? This place sucks. I've got a gun! And a flirty relationship with death! I really need to get a gun. There's gotta be hundreds of bears out here. They're probably in the compound right now, ready to grizzly man me. Jesus Christ. All right, back to bed for Robert. If someone wants to rob me, that's their business. Uh, I should grab a bottle of Snoop wine first. Ow, damn it! Ah! Well, I'm down half a bottle of Snoop wine. That's just great. Whoever broke this bottle, think about what you've done. Snoop Dogg worked really hard on that wine. The first couple sips aren't great, but after a while you start to understand what Snoop's going for. It's a decent blend. Uh, I'm gonna go bandage my foot. Take anything except the wine. Why is it going off so early? It's... Oh, it's three in the afternoon. All right. Ow! Damn! I forgot I cut my foot! Gotta get some breakfast. What the... Huh. How did my table get all the way over here? What was I doing last night? Oh, nice. You've still got a bottle on you. Breakfast acquired! Air of the dog. We've been through a lot, Table. We had a hell of a ten years together. That's all over now. It's all over. Time marches on. Well, let's see what this compound's got to offer. You're heavier than I remember. Woo! This place is kind of beautiful. I could film a movie out here. Hell, I could film lots of stuff. Huh, I can hear the ocean. I didn't know we were that close. I should have brought a bathing suit. You know what? I think this place is just what I need. I've got a good feeling about it. What do you think? I don't know why I brought you out here. I don't even know why I'm talking to you. Your table. I really need to invite some other people. You can talk to a table, that's fine. But when you only talk to a table, that's where you run into trouble. Marcy, it's Robert. Who? Robert Binfer. We've been friends for years. Oh. Hey, how's it going? Great. I don't know if I told you, but I own a compound now. Yeah, I heard. How is it? Big. Very big. Lots of space. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. I am. It's great here. Having a real good time. Lots of space. Uh-huh. Hey, I was thinking of inviting some people over to hang out. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's a big place. We could throw a party or whatever. Would you be down for something like that? That could be cool. When were you thinking? I don't know, like next week? Next week? Yeah, and everyone could stay for the summer. We could all film a movie or something. 
I've got a kid, Robert, and a job. I can't just stay at your compound for a few months. Come on, it'll be a great time. We'll go crazy. I'll, I'll let you know when I got a few days I can head up for a visit. A few days? Marcy? Again, I do have a kid. Yeah, all right. Well, I've got some other calls to make. I hope you have a good time at the compound. Thanks. For nothing. You ever had chicken alfredo table? Well, I can be a messy eater, so today might be your lucky day. No one wants to come out here. 70 rooms for one Robert. One Robert and one table. Alfredo time. Oh, hot, hot, hot. Gotta let it sit for a moment. My video's got 150 million views. That's not too bad for a kid from Shirts, Texas. Most of that was Clay World, of course. Most of that was shot on top of you. You might just be the world's most famous table. I'm eating dinner with a celebrity! Ah. Maybe I can actually get to sleep tonight without a bear or something breaking into my house. Bears yearn for me. What I need is a gun. Two guns, maybe. Like Max Payne. Two guns and a dead wife. Oh, table. Glad you're here. This is an old cult compound, right? They've got to have guns stashed everywhere. Any ideas? I guess i got to figure this one out on my own. If I was one of the seven hands of Christ, where would I hide my guns? I'd want to be ready for when the FBI tried to wake on me. I'd want to have those guns close at hand. The paintings. They're in every hallway. I wonder. Aha! I bet there's a gun strapped behind every Jesus. Wow, that would be... That would be a lot of guns. All right. Robert Benfer is armed and ready for glory. Ah. Nothing. There's nothing there. You're losing it, Robert. And it's only the second day. It's probably just the building settling. You can't just shoot at every noise. This is gonna be a problem. I really gotta find people who are willing to stay with me. If my so-called friends won't come, I should invite some fans. There's hundreds of people who would give an arm and a leg to hang out with Robert Benford. Yeah, this is going to be big.
Hello? Hey, Connor. It's me, Jason. Uh, hey. We were in that Ben for Time video together, uh, episode four. Yeah, I, uh, I, I know who you are. Sorry for just calling like this. I know we haven't really talked much. It's fine. What's up? Have you heard from Robert lately? Not since he moved into that Seven Hands of Christ compound last year. Oh, I thought you two were close. <sighs> yeah, so did I. Hmm. Why, what's up? I haven't been able to reach him in weeks. There's a landline phone at the compound, but nobody answers it. I don't even know if it's still connected. Knowing Robert, he probably just stopped paying the phone bill. Yeah, that's entirely possible. Well, hey, if you do hear anything, could you let me know? Do you, uh, think something's wrong? Not necessarily. He's just out there on his own, miles away from anyone. If he got drunk and hit his head or something, no one would know for years. Yeah, I get your point. Someone should really check up on him. I do it myself, but I'm working on finishing up the Charlie the Unicorn finale. Yeah, that's more important. Uh, they're both of pretty high importance. Sure. You live in California, right? Isn't that pretty close to Washington? Um, I live in Los Angeles. And that means... It's a 20-hour drive. Oh. Yeah, that's a bit of a trip. If you're really worried about Bobby, I can drive up and make sure he's not trapped under a fallen bookcase or something. I do really think someone should check up on him. Uh, hey, wait a sec. I'm getting another call. I'll be right back. <sighs> Sorry about that. Uh-huh. How'd, uh, how'd you like the music? It was fine. Just fine? Uh-huh. Hmm. Wait, one sec, I'm getting another call. Don't go anywhere. Uh, I'm hanging up, Jason. Can you believe this music is royalty-free? I can, actually, yeah. The quality of this stuff, I'm telling you, it's off the charts. Hey. Regular? Yeah, please fill it up. You got it. Hey, I was uh, wondering if you'd give me some directions. Might? Where are you headed? The old uh, Seven Hands of Christ compound. Why you wanting to head up that way? Uh, I'm doing a wellness check on a friend of mine, Robert Benfer. He's the new owner of the property. <sighs> Do you know him? <clears throat> His friends have been pretty worried. We haven't heard from him in a while. That'll be 40 even. Okay. Good day. Yeah, you too. Wait, that's him. The guy whose picture is on your door? The guy with the big X over his face? That's Robert. Mm. Well, your friend is no longer welcome at the quick gas. Why? What did he do? <sighs> if you're dead set and going up there, you might as well know what you're getting into. Follow me. You see that empty spot over there? Between the cases of Coors Light and the stack of Slim Jims? Why do you imagine that'd be such a big, empty space? Are you sold out of something? <clears throat> Your friend and a bunch of his cronies came here and helped themselves to a whole stack of my merchandise. They robbed you? They've, you've been burgled? They sure as hell didn't pay. Just kept saying corn dog over and over again while carrying my property away. They stole corn dogs? I don't know why they were saying corn dog. Maybe just to confuse me. They were stealing wine. Oh, yeah, that tracks. The only silver lining was they stole the one wine no one was buying. Oh, yeah? 
Snoop Dogg's 19 Crimes, California Red. I had 30 cases. Thought they'd fly off the shelves, but no one wanted them. No one, that is. Until... Robert! Snoop Dogg wine. Bobby, what have you gotten yourself into? Really hope I don't find a dead body. You're just in time, friend. Oh, uh, hello. Am I? You've come for the sermon, right? I guess I have, yeah. You! It's you! It's me! You're the Connor! I am the Connor! Pizza clock! Pizza clock! Pizza clock! Yeah, totally. From job interview. Oh. Oh, yeah, that was a video I was in. Pizza clock! <laughs> Is uh, Robert around? He's giving the sermon. Of course. Well, let's go listen to Robert's sermon. So there I was, just standing around. And you'll never guess who walked by. Tay Zonday, the chocolate rain guy. He was on his way to the bathroom, so he couldn't talk for long, but I did get a picture with him. Uh, hold on, I think, I've, I think I've got it on my phone. Yeah, here it is. Uh, me and Tay. That's nothing. Let me tell you about the time I met Serge Tankian. That's right, from System of a Down. I've got a picture of that too. He said to me, y You don't look like you're from LA. I asked what he meant, and he said, It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Oh, I met Rebecca Black. You know, Friday, Friday. I think she was crying. I don't know what was going on with that. She took a picture with me anyway. She's a real professional. I saw John Hamm at a bar once. I didn't want to bother him, so I took a video in secret. You can see it on my Instagram. Oh, Connor. My friend Connor is here. Wow. Come on up, Connor. It's Connor, everyone, from Bentford Time. He's practically a celebrity himself. Say hello to all the fans, Connor. Uh, hey, everyone. Say one of the lines. Which, which one? Any of them. They love hearing lines. Uh, pizza clock. Pizza clock. Hey, someone hand me one of those snoops. You want some of this? No, thanks. Hey, uh, Bobby, we should talk. Cool, yeah, of course. I've got another hour of this, then we'll catch up. Who here saw the movie Rat Race? No one? Well, there's a guy in it. He plays Seth Green's brother. Now, you're not going to believe this. Take a seat. You've got a fire going in summer. Yeah, I've been really into fireplaces lately. Got them all lit, all the time. It's like 90 degrees in here. Sorry about earlier. Gotta keep the fans happy. They love that celebrity stuff. What's going on here, Bobby? What do you mean? Who who are all those people? They're just fans. Mostly of Clay World, but they've seen the other stuff too. I do screenings. You sure you don't want any of this Snoop wine? It's not bad. I'm sure. I thought Jason was crazy getting 250 bottles, but that was all gone in four months. You think maybe you're drinking a little too much? Definitely. But times are tough. It's so hot in here, Robert. Can we at least turn the fire down? Not here. Not in Robert's building. The fires here stay lit. I feel like I should be staging an intervention right now. Nah, it's not that bad. You've been stealing Snoop Dogg wine from a gas station. Hey, my hands are clean. I didn't touch a single bottle until they were back at the compound. Robert, this is crazy. There's nothing crazy about chilling out and having a good time. <sighs> All right, look, I've had a long drive and I really need to crash. Is there a bed I can sleep in? Yeah, I'll have one of my butlers get you a room. You have butlers? That's just what I call the fans when I want help with something. Ah. You get some sleep, and tomorrow we'll talk more about my alcoholism, okay? Perfect. Sounds great.
Your room is just down this hallway. All right. It's a very nice room. Very uh, VIP. VIP. Ooh la la. So, uh, how long have you been living here? About uh, five months. What brought you out to the compound? Robert, of course. He's uh, my favorite animator. Remember Pancake Mines? They look like pancakes, but they're landmines. Classic. So you decided to live at his compound? It's a great opportunity. Is it? We get to learn about his process. Are you saying that Robert's running a film school here? Nothing quite so formal. And what have you learned so far? We've learned uh, all about his process. Yeah, but what specifically? Uh, uh, all sorts of things. We're all huge fans of his work. I see that. Uh, here it is, your room. Thanks. Hey, is there anything to eat around here? The food crew should be back from a raid within the hour. Did you say raid? They're grabbing some Wing Street from Pizza Hut. It's one of Robert's favorites. Why did you call it a raid? There aren't a lot of funds for food, and Robert doesn't like eating from the garden. I see. Would you like some wings brought up when they arrive? Yeah, sure, why not? Those stolen wings really hit the spot. Well, time for bed. It's so damn hot. There's no way I'm getting to sleep like this. Screw you, Bobby. You don't need every fireplace lit. Whatever, I'm so tired. She doesn't like the dark. Jesus! I don't like being an asshole, but you're kind of making me into an asshole right now. What are you talking about, Robert? We're all here to have a good time. This is a fun times only zone. Uh-huh. I like being the fun guy. I don't like being the papa, enforcing the rules. You don't like being the papa? I'm Bobby B, not Daddy D. Totally. I just want us all to have a good time. Who, who is she? What? You said she doesn't like the dark. Yeah, yeah, uh, one of the fans. Is she planning on coming into my room? Things are pretty relaxed here. People go where they want. There's no rules in Benford Town. Except keeping the fireplace lit. Except that, yeah. Well, thanks, Bobby. I'm glad you clarified all that. We're all here to have a good time. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Bobby. I've got to get out of here. I'll sleep in my car at the gas station. that guy. I don't like being the big papa, but sometimes... Who are you talking to, Robert? I just want to chill out, drink some wine, and watch The Sopranos. I think I've earned that. It's not a lot to ask. No one else here gets that. They want me to be the funny guy, but I want to be the Sopranos guy. The guy watching The Sopranos. He's talking to himself. I didn't ask for this. I didn't ask to be the big papa. I want to be little Bobby. I want my little treats. You understand. He's... I think he's talking to the table. What the hell, Bobby? I don't know what I would do without you. This compound is so lonely. Even with all the people here. I hate how everything sounds. It's like I've got a big seashell over each ear. I don't know how you can stand it. None of this matters anyway. 
You get that. None of this matters. You want some of this? Here you go. Drink up. Drink it all up. This... This is pretty bad. God. Alright, well, there's gotta be another way out of this building. A thing. There's a switch by the door. Oh my god. You're, you're the Connor. What happened to you? It was just my turn. It was my turn to play. Who did this? Who shot you? We were playing Clay World, the bank robbery episode. Did Robert shoot you? No, I, I don't remember. I, I need to get you to a hospital. No. No hospitals. They'd find us. They'd find Robert. They'd take him away from us. You're gonna die, man. Clay World. It's back. This isn't Clay World. This is real life. No. No difference now. I'll be right back. I need to find a phone, okay? Clay World is back. Oh, here we go. Let's hope this phone actually works. services are not available at your location. Please contact your local- Damn it. Yellow. Jason, it's Connor. Oh, hey. How goes the checkup? Not great. Robert's gone off his nut. Like, more than usual? He's- He's talking to his clay world table. He's feeding it wine. Uh, I mean, artists do that sort of thing sometimes. I don't think Robert's engaging in a bit of bohemian excess. People have been shot. No. Oh. Well, if you really think that... Jason? Jason! I like being the stern Papa even less. Bobby! Papa loves you, Connor, but you've been a bad boy. Why are you talking like this? You can't hear it, can you? Hear what? It's like we're at the beach. I don't hear anything, Bobby. Yeah, I thought not. <sighs> What's going on, Robert? I can't stop them once the siren starts. It's out of my hands now. Stop them from what? What are they going to do? We're playing by Clay World rules now, Connor. Oh, God. Clay World is back. This is sick. Here they come. It's out of my hands. Oh my god. What? There's things all over the ground. What are those? I don't know. They look like pancakes. G get away from me. The pancakes. I, I get the bit, but it isn't funny. Those look like real landmarks. You should stick your fingers all in them and feel around. This sucks. This bit sucks. I'm not going to play along. That was a real bullet. It's the snipper. Quickly, do the splits. I'm not going to do the splits. The guy who did the splits in the video got shot. Why do I remember that? Those are really our landmines! This is so dangerous! You gotta be sneaky. You gotta be quick. You're all sick! This is so sick! I'm a murderer! Somebody grab his body, bring it to the mortuary. I'm sorry things turned out this way. You really shouldn't have come. But how could you have known? Clay World's back. It's back. Connor. 
I guess this means there won't be another bin for time. You were good in that. You were real good. I've always thought of you as sort of a big son. You know what? I think this is how you'd have wanted to go. Yeah. Play World's back. It's a new era. Feels like things should be taken off any day now. Yep. has happened here. Robert! Connor! Oh my god. Are you alright? We... we just... Why are you dressed like a blue clay man? Jesus, there's so much blood. We just really loved Clay World. Of, of course. We all love Clay World. It was a great series. Not why. Clay World is back. Help! Help! God damn it! Oh, hey, Jason. Is that you? Yeah, it's me, Robert. How have you been? Not too bad. You? Pretty good. How about Connor? Dead. Oh. Damn. So, what's been going on here? Clay World's back! I guess it is, yeah. This is gonna be big! It's gonna be huge! You should do a guest voice! Uh, maybe, yeah. Clay World is back! It's back! You, uh, you almost got me that time, buddy. We live in hell! You know that, right? Yeah, I mean, that pretty much sums it up. No, I mean, this is... this is literally hell. Okay. I didn't realize the difference until Abigail explained it. Abigail? The daughter. The one who drowned. You've been talking to Abigail? She was never buried. Did you know that? I didn't. They didn't bury her. They took her to the mortuary. They did it in the mortuary. They... they did what? All right, I'm gonna head inside. We're in hell, Jason. You can't run away from hell. Okay. <sighs> I should probably hide. Oh, oh dang. Get away from her! What? Get away from Abigail! What are you- uh, No! Uh, damn, I'm sorry, Robert. I- I fell on your table. I think I broke it. Abigail! What? Oh my god. Robert, the table. I can't hear it. I can't hear the waves. Robert, this table's been hollowed out. Abigail! It's filled with human bones, Robert! She's dead. All over again. Well, uh, what is... She's gone. It's all gone. Something's happening to the building, Robert. We need to move. All gone, Jason. Yes, it's all gone. We gotta go. Clay World. It was back. I'm sure it was great, Robert. It wasn't. It was hell. That's the point. Where's my snoop wine? There's one right next to you. Great. I think the building is falling apart, Robert. All gone. You've done too much damage to the structure. If you ever need a good doctor, you know who to call. What? Oh, I'm not gonna do Clay World quotes with you right now. Maybe Clay World can change. I'm leaving, Robert. It wouldn't be the weirdest thing to ever happen here. <sighs> Actually, I think it would be. All gone. All gone, Robert. Goodbye.
<sighs> well, it took me months, but the table's good as new. Bones and all. I couldn't save my friend, but I could save his bone table. What is this world? You would have hated this song, Robert. I got it on sale. Great deal. Were you really his friend? W what? You were a coward, nothing more. A priest avoiding the beaten man on the road. Is this not so? I... What? Have you heard them, the heralds of resurrection? Have you felt their bodies striking the hull of the ageless ship that sails the endless night? I'm not sure. There is a cycle to everything. The little death, the big death, the long wait, the hands that turn the ship's wet wheel. Are you Abigail? The hand of the gravedigger must dig. The hand of the poet must write. Your hand, Jason, must shape the clay. I don't understand. Ah, but you do. That's why you can hear me. That's why even now your hand quests for its rightful grip. I can't. That, that was Robert's thing. Robert is dead. But the wheel must turn. I still turn it. You, too, will join the turning in your own way. Yes, I will. The wheel winds the rope. The rope scrapes against the side of the ship as it pulls the dark mass from the dark depths. I... I can see it. Your light flickers, but it is light enough. The shape of the mass is just visible now under the cold waves, and there is no mistaking it. Oh, it's... Yes. Clay World. Clay World is back. This has been The Table. Special thanks to all of our FilmCal Patreon supporters. Thank you for listening. <laughs>